Isn't this a nice image? Don't you feel educated about the character? Look, he's got a grandma haircut, he's got chest hair, and he's got a cobra on his back to ward off predators. It doesn't include the trivia where he likes to laugh at you when you're at low health. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I stumbled upon this image result today. I think it's from, like, Hyrule Historia or something. So, as usually happens when I play a Zelda randomizer, I end up playing it multiple days in a row because I just don't want to stop. I actually felt like I stopped a little bit too early yesterday, even though I went for three and a half hours. I, I ended it wanting more. I ended the stream and then I immediately thought, man, I could really want to keep playing Majora's Mask. So here I am, except this time I'm a little bit more prepared. Last time we ran into a lot of walls because there were, as it turns out, many additional hidden little things in the rupee randomizer that you really need to know about in order to, uh, in order to not get stuck. So I fumbled about for a bit last time, but uh, I have the same checklist I have last time, and a little document from the uh, randomizer discord. So I should have a much easier time figuring out what exactly all of these weird, obscure rupee drop locations are referring to, because there's a lot of them. There's a lot of stuff that you can just hit in this game, and rupees pop out. I didn't realize that when I started this. There's the magic jar fairy. We are, as of course, Wink, White Link. Gains his power from milk. We ended the previous stream. We started, we had a good start last time. We start, we found the sword. We found uh, arrows and bombs pretty early and a Pona song. We ended the stream with the Deku mask, which is a great find because that opens up a ton of, uh, of cluster items. There's a bunch of clusters on the ground that will have access to trying this stream. So hopefully it's going to be a productive start of the stream. The Deku Playground has a ton of stuff in it. The Deku Palace has a ton of stuff on the ground. No, there are not. Oh, I need rupees for this. And the graveyard has a bunch of stuff in the graves, including a big cluster of stuff that's just on the ground. Thing. You know what? I'll just go to the bank for rupees. I noticed that the things that you interact with for rupee drops are usually in threes. So some of the things I was confused about, I'm pretty sure, are just, uh... They're interactables, like Clock Town Clock. Once I get some arrows, I'm gonna try shooting the clock. I think that might uh, that might be a drop.
Before we even talk to them, let's see what all is on the ground here. Uh, some rupees. I see a fairy and a sculpture token. And arrows. Well, we can use those. No amazing items, but it's a bunch of stuff, and I might still get my money back. Okay, maybe not. I'll only lose three rupees. I'll get seven back. That ain't bad. Nice track this is. We don't usually get to hear it for very long. Uh oh. I wasn't paying attention. There's probably a time I have to beat, isn't there? Okay, there is, but the timer counts up? That's weird. Okay, I'm down two rupees. There's nothing on the back wall, is there? I've never looked at that platform before. I gotta look at everything now. Oh, it's just a little version of the clock town. Of the, of the clock. Can't fire arrows in here. Oh! You're right, sorry about that, Darian. Uh, because of the weird way that, uh... It's because of the takedown thing. I have to manually go live on YouTube. I have to hit the button for it. Yesterday's stream was, uh, we made some progress, but there was a lot of hitting my head against the wall, because there are lots of little interactables that drop rupees that are now in the randomizer pool that I don't know about. This time I have a I have document from the randomizer discord, so that will help immensely if I run into something that I have a name for but don't know what the hell it is. For example, Clocktown Clock. I have a hunch. Let's see if my hunch is correct on this. Aha! I got a rupee, a stray fairy, and what's the other thing? Another rupee? Yeah, okay. Two green rupees and a stray fairy. Check those off. I still don't have the hook shot. The hook shot would open up some things. The playground items. I need magic to do the Keaton grass, as I learned. The Gwei, as it turns out, the one that is always circling Termina Field, has a super bizarre mechanic attached to it, specifically. You have to, if you play songs for it, then it will drop items. I think any of the, any of the elemental songs. I don't know if I need to be a Goron to play the Goron Lullaby as the thing. What? 
I went the wrong way around this. There it is. Let's try it. How could you possibly know that? Two, three. Oh, I'm missing them. I'm not fast enough. Well, hmm, I'm gonna have to do all this again. It's a lot of blue rupees and a lot of sculptulas. Silver rupee. Red potion. Wow, he's dropping a lot of stuff. Chateau Romani? That could be the bottle one. I still don't have a bottle. He's still going, look at he go! Okay, well that will be something to do when I have... Either Goron or Bunnyhood would help with that. Sorry, there's gonna be a little bit of stopping and starting as I, uh, check some things. Here's a funny one. Termina Field Clam. Actually, his drops are a little bit different if you happen to be a Goron or not. Come on. Do something. Oh, hello. Okay. Mask of Sense. That's something. Terminal Field Clam. You know what? I might as well do the... I might as well do the, the graveyard stuff in tandem with the Deku, since I have to do all three days anyway. Also, a bunch of invisible items around in the grass. Let's see what we can find wandering through grass. Nothing? Nothing. Oh, okay. Well, there's something. I wonder if I can get these items on opponent, or if I need to be on foot. Can I do the... I guess I could fight the Poe. In the... In the graveyard. I couldn't bottle it because I don't have a bottle yet.
Oh, there's a grotto here. Did I not know about this one? I must have been down here in the previous randomizer. Oh, okay. Well, there's that. Heat and mask. A funny sounding ocarina. That's right, I am Quasimodo. Fairy. I think there's like ten of these throughout Hyrule uh, Termina Field. These invisible grass items. Most of them are grass. Oh wow, he responds quick. You can't. You can't give me a little bit of time to run around the grass. I'm also gonna need arrows to fight the big Poe. Someone said that in the previous stream, that the track is uh, Banshee Boardwalk. And that I think Clock Town Day 2 is also Mario Kart music. Depending on how the clusters of items go... I'm not gonna say we could beat this today, because I, 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 I jinxed myself saying that in the past. I did actually go back and start watching uh, Vinny's Majora randomizer run from 2019. He did one for charity. I think that took him five or six parts. Granted, it was not this kind of all rupee randomizer. Yeah, I, I would really love to have more arrows. That'd be very helpful. Here's another thing that you hit with. You, uh, hit... All of the lanterns... ...drop stuff. I just- now- now I need more arrows, though. Graveyard, Lantern, 1, 2, and 3. Here we go. Is this the cluster? No, Night 2 is the cluster. They're over there. I see them. I want them. We got pots down here, though. Green rupee. Blue rupee. The blue bee. Night one grave pot, one and two. Oh god. I have so little health for this. Oh, hey! Our first bottle. We needed that. So which were the pots? There's four pots in here, but there's only two entries for night one pots. Oh, 
I can't do this because I don't have fire arrows. I need fire arrows to light the actual torches in here. If I were to beat all the bats, I would get something. God, I just wish I had arrows. I got I got to funnel them. But don't the funnel's not working. I got all night. You and me, bats. Wink versus the bat cave. Oh, it's like Ganon Tennis, but worse. I think now that I've gotten the items, both of those jars are recovery hearts. time. Oh, there's another jar. Well, that sucked. Great. Thanks. So I'll have to come back here when I have actual, uh, when I have the magic meter. I actually have the fire, no, I don't have the fire arrows, never mind. I don't think I also got all the grass. Blue rupee, art. It says there's three. Oh. Okay. How'd it get here? Econa Graveyard Grotto. There's a grotto here? Do I have any bombs? Nope. Lamp oil? No, I don't. Yeah, I need a I need a refill all option. I need like ratchet and clank. Just fill all ammo. I can't even rely on shops. Because the shops are randomized. They're not gonna sell everything I need. Well, unfortunately, I don't have the magic spin attack. I just have my normal spin attack, which is kind of useless. Well, now that I have a bottle, I can do a few things. I can at least get a... I could get a red potion if I find one. Bring to this guy. Maybe these guys can drop arrows. Maybe I can grind them. Maybe opponent can help me. Dumb skulls. Oh no, he still jinxed me, even on a Pona.
maybe they don't drop arrows. Maybe this is a fool's errand. Also haven't found any bigger wallets yet. That would be nice. Alright, let's just go let's go back to Clock Town. It's almost morning. Where are we going? This is east. We want to go to north. I could try following the bird with Epona, but that'd, that'd take too long to get on, on the horse. There'd already be items disappearing. Double check the shop. Let me see what they sell. Maybe they do sell arrows. Uh, no such luck. Hi. They just sell sticks. Sticks are the only useful item the shop carries. I didn't know what it was. Someone had to point it out to me. I should probably be paying more close attention to what stray fairies I get. We need to find the, the single Clock Town stray fairy for two items as well. All right, what do you got for me today? Rupees, 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 a stray fairy, and a magic jar. Been real disappointing, Deku Playground. I can't be too mad, they at least have nice music. might actually be less rewarding than it was originally. I'm not even making a profit anymore. I'm getting green rupees, I'm getting spiders, and I'm getting stray fairies. 
Oh, I gotta try bottling stuff now that I have a bottle. Because, unfortunately, I accidentally included bottle items in the randomizer pool. So as a result, everything I bottle is going to be scrambled. Okay, where are we going? We're going to... No, I don't need to be a Deku. I would like some arrows. That's what I'd like. Let's just run around for a bit. Let's get some arrows. Ride the nice open fields. There we go. There's ten of them. Mmm. That's what we want. How about some bombs? Can you get any bombs for me? Okay, now I'm suspicious. The game's being generous, which means it's going to be very mean. Very short, but soon after. We're now full on arrows and bombs. Lanterns. Let's see what we can get in the graveyard. Let's see, there are 12 lantern items, which means there are four lanterns to shoot. I got that one. Oh, there's wild bats in this graveyard. Piece of heart. Magic jar. Dungeon map for Great Bay. Okay. What is Dompy doing? There's an infestation here. Okay, new mask. That's three lanterns, there's one more. That it? Is. Oh, hey, great! Hookshot, express mail to mama. That's two items. That's great! Hookshot. Lovely thing to have. That's all the lanterns. There's also rocks in the graveyard. Not the rocks in a circle, but I want to bomb those. That might be the... that might be the grotto. Aha! Also something called Econa Graveyard Rupee Cluster. Grotto is a green rupee. Day one grave bats we got. Are they digging? Oh, the rupee cluster must be the grave two thing. Let's try bottling a fish. Let's see what a fish transforms into. Oh, of course. It was actually a Poe in disguise. Can I get rid of this? I can't. I am now stuck with the big Poe. Although, you know what? I can, uh... I can sell this. This is a valuable sell item.
which all of the different values that the curiosity shop will buy things for is an individual item slot. Where's the rocks at? Got these stupid bats. I'm looking for rocks on the wall somewhere. Because apparently that's a thing in a few areas. There's just, uh, I noticed a bunch of rocks on the wall. Well, if you destroy them, there's items inside. What is that up there? That's just the moon's tooth, I guess. Let's see. Econet Graveyard Lowest uh, Rocks. What do you think of the theory that the moon's face might be Ganon's? I... It's definitely not Ganon's face. I think the theory is more that it is representative of the threat that Ganon poses looming over Link. Like the pressure he would feel the three days and, su and such as, as compared to the pressure he feels as the hero to defeat Ganon. I don't know that I don't think that was necessarily intended by the devs in any way. It's one way to interpret it. Graveyard, here we go. Oh, I need the Sonata of Awakening for the rocks. The rocks are on the path that uh, Skeleton Man runs. Pendant of Memories does me no good. Until I am able to do the entire Anju Cafe quest. Okay, rupee cluster, what do we got? We got rupees, rupees, more rupees, magic jar, bombs, and okay. In all of that, there was one non, one useful item and it's just a heart piece. And, 20 rupees. What is that, is that the knight two pot? I was real, I was really looking forward to that cluster of things. Magic power is one of the big things holding us back right now. Magic power and, uh... The other transformation masks. Song of Healing would be nice. Well, 
Oh, that wasn't the button I wanted to press. I think this comes about parallel to here. Ah! A little too far. I feel like I did this the last time I did the randomizer. This is the second time I'm attempting this room without the, the lens of truth. Arrows are for chumps. <laughs> Nothing. What about you two? Green rupee. Nothing. It's so arbitrary which pots drop something consistent and are therefore in the pool versus which ones are random drops. Also, I haven't gotten any sword upgrades yet. Vanilla game for the first time just recently. Oh! I helped him get the convenience items as soon as reasonably possible, like the sword. Talked about how bad fighting an iron knuckle with just the Kikiri sword would be. That bad, as it turns out. It doesn't even matter how much health I have, any- if I get hit once, it's death. defeats the purpose of invisible enemies if the fairy can detect them. I can't arrow you, can I? Uh, I didn't figure I could. Do I have sticks? I have one stick. Go down! What's this difficulty in a Zelda game? Iron knuckle chest. 
Day two bats. Huh? There's an entry called Econa Graveyard Day Two Bats. What's that? Like the ones in the in the outer graveyard? Grave two or Day Two Bats. Kill the bats. Talk with Dompe. Oh. Okay, so I guess during the day I could have helped Dompe by exterminating them all and then gotten a reward. I didn't know that. I, I just insulted him for not taking care of the bats. I don't have the Song of Soaring, so I'm stuck in here until I navigate this room again in reverse. Odd how it makes the fire sound when you take damage from bad bats. Even though they are not on fire. No, jump, Link! This room sucks. Without the lens of truth. I get why they made it so that you don't jump on invisible platforms so you can't, like, just cheese your way through it, but man, it's annoying. It's not as bad as the as the invisible platforms in the Goron Valley, at least. Not by far. Those are a cycle ender. I did already get everything in that cave last time. Spider gone, or is he going to drop down? Spider's gone. Oh, I... I, I need to... I need to sell the... The ghost, but I think I missed the curiosity shop. I think he's gonna close. He's only open from like 10 to 2, I think. I think I could just dump out the big Poe. Get rid of him. I don't need him. What do I care if he terrorizes someone? I haven't done the Gorman Brothers race, but I would like not to. Oh, I have the hook shot. Last time, my horse was up here. Don't reset me. Don't send me back to the start of the area. God. Okay, well, I'm not at the start of the area, but I have to deal with these stupid bomb shoes trying to stop me from hookshotting. Ah! Why has it got to be at such a weird angle?
Why's it gotta be the N64 joystick? You better not come up here. You! I don't care, I got it. Deku's Day 3. There's also apparently a random spot of wall outside the field here that you can hit for something. So I gotta check that. I just, who, who cares about it? You know what? No, I will deposit. No, I won't. I'm not gonna worry about putting stuff in the bank until I have a bigger wallet. I think the final reward is at 1,000 in the fast bank option. What do you got? Hello, you got bombs, lots of rupees, arrows, Boy, this place was a disappointment. Look at all the items they could have, and none of them are, are really valuable. They put all the good rupees on day three. Said, huh? That's all I get. Well, that was a whole lot of disappointment. I bet Deku Link is faster than regular Link. Maybe I can follow the Gwei. Let me check out this wall first, though. If I can find bugs, then I can have access to the soft soil stuff. There's a telescope thing with the uh, with a Gwei. A lot of weird, obscure things with the vultures. Okay. There's nothing at all conspicuous about this wall. But apparently... You can hit it at just the right spot. Why? 
Why is that a thing? some convenient banker features in this most recent update. And back we go. Day three grave has a bunch of pots in it. I really wish I could have sold. You know what? Maybe it would be worth selling the ghost. I don't know of any other way to offload it. Because I need to know what I get from bottling a big Poe is the thing. Let's wait until night when the curiosity shop opens. We'll wait till 10, slow down time, and then we'll do the grave stuff after 10. I shouldn't have included the bottle items. I didn't mean to. The Sun Song is a nice addition, but I can't use it on the night of the final day. I don't think. Oh, I can. Okay. Well, that would potentially lead to horrible death if I wasn't careful. Speeds things up a little bit, though. I also have the uh, letter to Mama I can use. I forget what the final hours music is. If that's changed, even. This isn't 200 rupees. You ripoff artist. How dare you? Uh, West Clock Town. Curiosity Shop. Gold rupee, I believe, is the 200 one? Yeah. Uh, lesser bottle items. They'll sell for lesser prices. Well, wow, that's really the only way to get rid of a big Poe, isn't it? Thank you. 
But I thought it was open on the final day. Or like the final hours, is it not? Maybe I don't need to go into the bar to do the postman one. Maybe I can just let him run in and, and like a good child, wait for him to then come out of the bar. Or maybe it's not until, like, after midnight that I can even do anything with either. Are you here? Are you panicking? Yes, you are. I got a thing for you. Oh, but I gotta wait in real time for him to do his stupid run, don't I? Man! I don't got time for this, I gotta go ghost hunting! Did that actually make him any faster? Alright, now he's gonna hoof it. I'm gonna follow him. And I'm not gonna have to go inside the bar. Actually, don't know if this will work or not. I think I can go inside the bar after midnight. Even without the Romani mask. He's not wearing proof of membership. What I'm wondering is if I need to actually see the cutscene take place inside. Or if it'll happen regardless. And then he'll come back out. And I can talk to him. Wait outside the bar like a good boy. There he is! Hey, it worked! The good boy method. Thanks! Asshole! green rupees keep coming, and they just keep coming, and they don't stop coming, and they never stop coming. What does this sign say? Have I ever read it? Patron guidelines for the milk bar latte. Limited run milk. We are a members only establishment. In other words, we offer our members alcoholic milk. We are adults only establishment. That, that's what they wanted to write on the sign. I love the way everything just happens on its own in this game, whether you're there or not. It's so autonomous. It's what makes the world feel so alive. Oh, come on! Night three, gotta fight a Poe. I guess I could, in theory, use the hook shot against it. Oh, 
I hope it's nothing important for Big Poe bottling. Obviously, Big Poe, well, Big Poe's and the Deku Princess are the two hardest to bottle items in the game. So if there's anything critical, if I need to catch a Big Poe every time I, I want a bug, for example, that would be awful. That would be atrocious. Those jars were a whole lot of nothing. All right, Dampy. Oh, sorry. Let me put my face on. All right, let's see. Let's double check what's down here in a kind of grave. There's a long checklist. There's a lot of stuff in this game with this whole pool active. Over a thousand spots in the item pool now. Went from 400-something to 1,000-something. Dompe digging is one item. Dompe basement pot, one, two, one through eight. So I got six, I guess. Yeah, okay, so that's it. I only need to get one... Dompe only needs to dig up one item. Unless I guess the Dompe digging item is the... It's the treasure. It's what you get from the Poe. Uh-oh. Dampy, please. I'm still I'm still meandering through Crash 4. I actually felt inclined to play it on a couple of occasions. I got some more levels done with all the gems. It just might be a while. Does he not move if you're on the platform with him? Really? It doesn't move if Link's on the platform. Is that the randomizer? Did they make him turn better? I don't think he's supposed to turn that lot like that. Ow. A fight? I'm pretty sure I, I have like a couple frames I can nail him just as he appears. I'm not getting him though.
All right, moment of truth. It's a fish. So I will have to bottle a big po every time I want a fish. I think only one of the one of the gibdos wants a fish. And there is one big po in the bottom of the well, so maybe that's not so bad. That's about the only time you ever need a fish in this game, is for that one gibdo. Hopefully I'm not misremembering. Hopefully there's not two. Oh, okay. That's something. That's nice. Now, I think there are more pots hiding down here. R. Final day's music is unchanged. Well, that was disappointing. Settings. Speed up dampy. True. Oh, that's that must be a convenience setting I activated. Yeah, it's just a bunch of junk items in the pot. That's a shame. Well, that was the important that was the big places we had to check, and we didn't actually get any progression items from them. That is very disappointing. I can't do the rocks here in Ikana. Because I don't have the Sonata of Awakening to wake up Skolkita. Now comes the hard part. Now, now it, it's time to figure out what we can do. We have the hook shot, so we can check the Clock Town, Straw Roof, and Final Day chests. Let me check off all the Deku Playground items. I don't think we can do the Keaton quiz. until uh, we have the magic sword. I don't think he appears even if you just bomb all the grass. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe he does. We haven't saved the old lady on night one yet. It says we can't do the Keaton quiz, but I don't know if I believe it. Hookshot has to open some stuff. Honey and Darling any day, Honey and Darling three days. Postman's Freedom Reward, we got that. Town Archery, we can do the... Treasure chest game is Deku. That's pretty quick and easy to do. Oh, I could have sold the fish. Maybe. Maybe it was too late to sell to the curiosity shop. There's probably easier things I can sell on a fish. If I get arrows, I could take out the the bird, the uh, Takuri. The bugs would be the worst possible thing. 
for a bottled Poe to give me. Because there's so many things I now have to check with bugs. Where am I going? I'm going to the treasure chest shop. I can access the inn at all hours of the day, now that I have Deku. So that opens up some items in the inn. What nice minigame music. It's something worthless. I think the spinning is making it worse. I expect anything else. <laughs> no. Treasure chest game Deku. Curiosity shop man, one and two, I can do? What do I need for that? I need the letter to cafe. And then I need to get cafe's item. Did I not do those? Turn the field above Cal Grotto. Oh, I can hookshot to the, the chest in Termina Field. Let me play you the song of my people. Where's the Gwei? I hear, I heard it, I think. Maybe not. I can do the telescope stuff. Both the business scrub and the the guay. But first, I get that chest. Is it a big chest? I think it is. Maybe not. Okay. If I ever need arrows quickly, I know where to go. Good place to stock. One rupee. Herman Field Grass Grotto, I got that earlier. P Hat Grotto, I got. Terminal Field Clam, there's the Gwei items. Terminal Field Rocks. Terminal Field Stump Chest. Terminal Field Tree Item. Oh, there's one that drops from a tree that you roll into. Terminal Field Wall, I got those. That stupid item. Terminal Field Rock seems like they'd be annoying, but doable. But they're more wall rocks that you have to blow up. I need bombs for those. Oh, 
No? Come on. Hear my beautiful song, bird. Is this not the one? He only responds to the ocarina. One, two, three, four. That's the seahorse? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 items from that stupid bird that you... Why would you ever play a song for the bird? And then there's some different items depending on if you're a Goron when you play it, so I'll have to... But why does it say that I have access to those now? That's bizarre. That might not be uh, correct. That might be an error in the logic. Okay, well, we know where the seahorse is, so that'll be good for the future. I think I just got another bot. I did get another bottle. That's great. Can I sell the seahorse? Hmm. I think I can sell Chateau Romani. That's another 200 rupee, though. Which, according to Curiosity Shop Man, is worth one rupee. I don't know how much the seahorse would sell for. I can't do anything with him because I don't have Zora yet. I can't even get infinite magic from it, because I don't have any magic yet. None of the masks I have really let me do anything yet. Other than talk to skeletons, that was nice. I did the dog race already. I can now access the roof of the dog race track shed. There's a heart piece, formerly a heart piece up there. I should really get these invisible items in the field so I don't have to worry about them. Those in the Terminal Field rocks. Let me check the locations of the invisible items. I got a couple of them in the grass. Goron Mask or a Pona Song. Oh. Way drops different items if you're Goron or on Epona. Okay, so I don't need to be a Goron for those three. Try talking to the Gorman brothers with that mask. You don't get a special item for that, though. You just get, like, a different face. They just, they're sad, is all that happens. There is that quest that uh, Gorman sends you on to get watered down milk. Well, I guess I should do that now. I should I should do the 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 way Epona thing. But let's do that real quick. Get the three Epona slash Goron items. I just came in here.
All right. That's my horse. Where's my Gwei? Stay here, girl. bar with that mask to get something? You do? Does he give you rupees or something? Infinite Chateau Romani bird. Okay. Well, I guess I got all the extra things. There's three items that are different if you're if you're a Goron or on a horse. There's a red rupee, thirty arrows, and a large magic jar. Okay, so worthless. Invisible items. Oh, here's two. I wish I wish I remembered how many I got last time in the grass. I wasn't counting. Or I was counting, but I since forgot what I counted to. about this? One rupee, huh? Maybe this side has something better. I don't even know what that was. Couldn't have been that important. something off this ramp. Although it says I don't need Goron to get it. I can just jump. Yep, okay. Blue rupee. It's also one on the other side. I guess I could have found these eventually if I just got Goron and rolled around. That's where it was? Well, there go, there was a, one, one of the most important items that we were still missing. Magic power was just floating in the air. Link had to take a leap of faith into a puddle by the beach where he would find enlightenment and gain the power of magic. Yeah, you don't get anything with that mask. The only ha it just helps with the Gorman quest. Roll as Goran, or roll jump as Zora and do a jump slash. Well, I can't do that yet. Alright, so I believe that's all the invisible items 
I got all the ones in the grass, and I got the ones off the, the Goron jumps. Except for one on the mountain, which I can't do yet. Well, I'm glad I, I took the time to look for the invisible items. That that's great. Having magic is very helpful. But so I don't still I don't have fire arrows. I can drink milk now. I can gain the milk power. Let it flow through me. Hmm, super milk magic. Termina field rocks. Do I have bombs? I still don't have bombs. check where Termina Field tree item is. I don't know how many trees are in Termina Field. You know what? Probably not that many. I could find that by myself. I don't necessarily need to look that up. Let's go tree hunting. Let's go find a tree. It's probably in the swamp area, right? Seems like a safe bet. Well, there's these big trees. I can't hookshot to the top of those or anything, can I? I'm gonna kill this bird. I don't like this bird being here while I'm exploring and doing stuff. running away. He's a coward. I bet he doesn't even smoke crack. Alright, I need to let him come closer. He's gonna die off screen. I won't be able to get his item. Come on. There's a good bird. You're gonna die today. got for me. Oh! Great! Wow, I should have killed that bird earlier. I got the blast mask. That solves all my bomb problems forever. Almost. I still need bombs for the rocks, actually. To curry, that was a great find. You know what? I think I know where the- I think I remember there being a tree in Termina Field. Near, uh... Near the telescope. Like a roll into a bull tree. There are a few of them, actually. It was a huge blast mask. I guess they must have specifically programmed that bird to... because it's the only place that a giant rupee drops in the game. They just took the, the normal rupee model. And what are you? Hello? Have you always been here? Dude. I have never seen this character before. I broke his leg! I stole that rupee from a crow! Don't go stealing it, man! It really was a single rupee. 
What the fuck is this NPC? He just... He hangs out in a tree all day. Trying to smack birds with his fists to steal rupees from them. Twenty years later, I'm still learning stuff. Well, I guess that must have been the tree item. Here's the secret, uh... Here's the, here's the Deku secret grotto. I thought I needed to see him at the telescope for this to appear. I guess not. I still need bombs. No, I have some bombs. Not enough, I should get more bombs. I'm gonna do the, the rocks. The blast mask doesn't actually open anything new. Since I already had bombs, but... It let me do a lot of stuff much easier. I wasn't able to get a lot of the, the big snowballs in the mountains. Because I ran out of bombs. Maybe it's by region, what the grass drops are. I seem to get the most bombs near Snowhead. Okay, that was a cool fence jump. Still just- still just ten! Oh, come on, give me some bombs. There we go. Just gotta ask nicely. Alright, so where are these things? This would actually be easiest with bomb chews, but... I don't have those immediately offhand. Here they are. So this is one of two batches of rocks that are just on walls. There's two spots where there's just a bunch of rocks on the wall, and some of them contain items. I can actually check which of them to save a little bit of time. All but the bottom most and the top right one. Alright, Skulchula. I think that was three items, which means those two up there... Or two of those up there. Uh, such a walk back up. I'm gonna have to go to a very- you know what? I should try the blast mask first, just to see if maybe I can, uh, pop some. Blast mask also substantially helped by having a shield. If I'd gotten it with no shield, that would've, uh, not been as good. Bomb chews and Deku nuts. There's never really a reason to use bomb chews. The only times I would ever use them in casual play in Ocarina was against that those those uh, against the Iron Knuckles as a child because your options as a child were kind of limited. No, oh, that's it. I got them all. And they were all worthless. I got an ocean, a Sculptula spirit, but that was it. Terminafield Rock. 
five. Where are these ones at? There's a bunch of others on a stone wall. I'm just gonna have to explore the stone walls. What a dumb looking mask. It's just a scribble, right? Someone in the someone in the studio. Maybe the bomb lady's son made the mask. Maybe maybe this is her version of like putting a picture on the fridge. In which case, I'm sorry I called it dumb. It's adorable. Oh, there they are. Well, this maybe wasn't a problem for bombs at all. Oops. God, I was wearing it. Art piece. Silver rupee. Sculptula. And green rupee. All right, that's all the rocks. That wasn't much, but I got some Skulltula tokens, I guess. I'm getting rid of some of the mundane stuff. It's good to check the small items, I think, before we have to worry about, uh... Instead of having to do all the Honey and Darling games or something. Oh, we have access to the Deku Palace. That's a bunch of items we can do now. I slowed time, right? Yeah, I slowed time. I'm gonna go deposit my rupees and then we'll hit the, uh, let's go to the swamp. There's a ton of stuff in the Deku Palace Gardens just sitting on the ground that used to be rupees. Imagine doing something like the, the perfect shooting gallery for one item slot when you could just go go and find just eight sitting on the ground somewhere just ready to be picked up at any time. On the other hand, it is not it is a non-zero possibility that a necessary item could be that stupid perfect swamp shooting score or something. That's the fear. You're a big chest. No. Okay. Deku notes are more useful when you... I guess have limited item options. I used them to fight a wolf host with a slingshot in the Ocarina randomizer. That was a fun thing about the Wind Waker randomizer, is that you could start with no sword, and you'd be very limited with what enemies you could kill depending on which items you had. I think the first one I got was like the, the grappling hook, which can't kill very many things. Oh, I should have kept my rupees. There's a... Star Fox! The Southern Swamp is in trouble! I can see what... Uh, maybe I don't need rupees. I, I can see what this guy's selling. What you got? 
Large magic jar. Nope. Let me very quickly go ahead and bottle a fart for the witch. Oh, I'm sorry, that wasn't a magic mushroom. That was the Deku Princess. I've spoken very offensively of her odor. Bottle of mushroom. It's the Deku Princess. So I can have multiple Deku Princesses. I can I can come here and collect them. I wonder if I could now just go straight to the palace. And just drop her. And what would that do? This was a uh, this was a change. This was an option. Continuous Deku bounce. That makes life easier, doesn't it? Now, uh, I think if I remember correctly, the Gue dropped a red potion. I must have not gotten it. Maybe I might have had full bottles at the time. That would have been good for. I need that for the witch, and I need that for. Uh, the, the soldier. Sticks. Oh, I can get into the spider house now that I have Deku as well. That's a whole bunch of potential items. I should have come here sooner. Deku Palace and Spider House are huge. Galaxy? Oh, where did I, I... I can get beans easily. I'm gonna have to find out where to get water from. Maybe if I bottle bugs, they'll turn into water. I can't actually check right now because I have the princess in a jar. I have the princess and a seahorse I can't get rid of. On a cruise. Hey, I found something. <laughs> Foolish father. I was out collecting mushrooms. Yes, the temple is purified. The, sw the swamp water is clean again. I made a promise to you. Well, I have access to the Deku Butler now. I 
guess I might as well do that. I'll check the palace gardens and I'll check the uh, Deku butler. Oh! The Dekus had the Goron mask. That's fantastic. That's a great thing to get. Let's see, Southern Swamp, uh, Deku Palace. That was three items out of 17. Seven. Oh, that is the most important item in the game. We just got the oath to order. That's what we need to clear the game. So that was seven. Six more freestanding items then. This place was a gold mine. I got the Goron mask, I got the, the the oath to order. Those are two great items. And there's still potential for a lot of a lot more stuff here. There's six more items and a rupee cluster, which is seven more items. Sir, what all? What all are you? Stray fairy. Okay, just a piece of heart. Some stray fairies. I got bomb shoes. There should be two more items sitting about, unless I miscounted. Now, what does bottling plain water give me? Oh, of, co of course, a fairy. I can sell that, get another item, potentially. Deku Palace items. Deku Palace out of bounds item. What? What is that?
Well, it says I can't get it yet, so I guess I won't worry about it. What is the Bean Man offering? Heart piece. Okay. Oh, okay, and he also sells magic beans. I know where to get magic beans anyway. I'm missing what? I know the song of uh, the song of storms, don't I? No, I don't. Never mind. Okay, I have no way of making beans grow. I need to find out what I need to bottle to get water. How am I going to get rid of you? I didn't know there was one of these here. I might not actually be able to, despite saving the monkey, I don't think I can do the butler race because I can't get rid of this guy. I, I have no place to stand and fire an arrow. Maybe if I'm really quick. Maybe I can be fancy with it. I can! Yeah, sequence break. They really not think that anyone would be able to do that? Why do I have this on? Alright, this has a bunch of pots and items in it, apparently. Butler race, pillar item, right path, river item, final room item, dual pot. What is the dual pot? There's so many things in here. I'm gonna go the way that he doesn't go to make sure I get everything. I assume one of those was the dual pot. Well, the de the butler stuff here is still marked as uh, unobtainable in the checklist, which means I guess they don't figure that you would think to do that. That I guess it's a sequence break thing. I'm gonna have to be thorough. I'm gonna be check. I'm gonna have to check every path. Make sure I'm not missing nothing. Right. 
Here we go. Those are just rupees, it looks like. Oh, there's all sorts of rupees along this path. They're still just rupees, though. Well, that's all the pillar items. Rupees, 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 and more rupees. Wink, you gotta do those flips that looks very unsafe. You make me worried. Okay, that's the pillow room. Next is the right path items. Oh, this is the river items. One through six. This must be the right path. One, two, three. Four. Five. Okay. Six. That's all the right path items, the river the river items. And then there's a final room items, which I guess is just where he ends. Final room item, dual pot. These deck scrubs are just fascinated by this transforming child. Oh, wait, what are these? Are this, oh, this is the final room. There's ten items in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Well, that cost me a lot of time, but that was, that was some good stuff. I got the stone mask. Thanks. Great. Map of Great Bay. It's nice to have. Stone Mask is great. I can now do the Pirate's Fortress much more easily. 
Would have been good to have. I should have come here before the Deku Palace. I would have had the stone mask. Bomb bag upgrade is great. What title deed did I get? I got the ocean title deed, right? Yeah, so I would have to go to the canyon for that, which I cannot because I don't have the Garo's mask yet. Next hub of items is the... Actually, I can do... I can do both spider houses now. I have the Goron mask so I can get into the... Get into the... Ocean one. Nothing. There's nothing in this grass. The spider houses are gonna be full of stuff, and uh, where else can we go? I can still I can do the snowballs at uh, Snowhead more easily now. While I'm up here, I'll go ahead and fly to Woodfall and get the Owl Statue. For whenever I eventually get the Song of Soaring, watch it be inside the temple. Uh, because of the great the stray fairies. There's like 15 items. There's 15, is 15 gray fairies? Stray fairies? I actually forget how many there are. But there's that many items, at least, in each of the temples, too. Okay, blue rupee. I'm playing with cutscenes removed this time. Make things go a little bit faster. Which is why we get the little Link waving. Travel back in time. Uh, what was that? Southern Swamp. Music statue. All right. Well, it's not a new bottle, it's just milk. Entrance to Woodfall Chest, I'm guessing is what that is. Yep. Oh god, what is bottling the Deku Princess gonna give me? That better not be bugs. That'd be pretty atrocious. Man, I would have to do the entire- I'd have to fight Odalwa every time I wanted to get a bug and check a hole. I think that would prevent me from being able to do the spider houses. Yeah, so they can't do that. That should be a logical impossibility with the uh, randomizer. Green rupee sitting out there. Hey, come out. Hey! It's quiet here at night. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. And then Woodfall Pots. Magic Jar. I need you. I need to know what you are. No, oh, wait. Come back, fairy. Please. Ah! I can't even leave and come back. I can't soar back here. Don't jump off. Please don't jump off. Whew. Oh. Well, I have unlocked the ability to purchase powder kegs. Great. That's that's good. No. I can't hook shot back over there. All right. Let's see, behind Woodfall Owl Chest. Woodfall Bridge Chest I need. Oh, that... I can't kill him with that. Bubbles, however. You, cut that out. Ice cream man is making his rounds of the neighborhood, I hear. Come on. Come on! Like the shooting gallery, early. I think next time I'll enable nighttime music. It's a little dull at night with just none of it. Wakey, wakey. It's a small chest. Well, that's everything at Woodfall. It's faster to do this. Love this little hop, this little uh, addition. Just a nice quality of life thing. Being able to cross bodies of water quickly as a Deku. Do I have any sticks, I wonder? some in here. Okay, gold skull to a token. That was the near spider house grotto. Oh, bugs. What do you turn into? Bugs are bugs. Okay, great. That actually works out. I wish I didn't have a seahorse in, in using up one of my bottles. Hmm. 
I wonder if it's mandated that bugs remain bugs. All right, do we have music again? Maybe that's fine. Maybe I only need one bottle of bugs. Swamp scrub purchase, I know what that is. soft soil. Oh, hey! Oh, spin attack. Wait, that's a separate thing? I thought I got that with magic. Oh, that's right, I have Keaton grass. I have a uh, Keaton grass now that I have magic. And I bottle a bug again quickly is the question. No, I cannot. It, it initiates a cutscene so that I cannot save a bug. Finding some good stuff in the spider house. Mirror shield. Fortunately, I can just uh, I can just go back to the previous room to get a bug. Bugs are easily obtainable within the spider house. Maybe I'll find another bottle while I'm in here. That is entirely possible. Stray Fairy. Always use more of those. One on a pillar. There he is. Five bombs. I found out water was. I think that was turned into fairies. Which are actually not that useful in this game. They would have been useful early on because of my lack of hearts. Now I'm doing okay. We haven't heard Tingle laughing in a long while. Just checking stuff off as I go. Pull out my blast mask. Now let me grab a bug again, please. Ah, it won't let me. I want to conserve my bugs. Okay. Three red potions. Were those all different items? Oh, 
Oh, there's invisible items in the spy in the spider house. Let's see, monument room. I should probably go do the I'll go help the witch. Since I now have a red potion, and I don't know when or where I'm gonna get another one. It'd be a good idea to make use of it, I think. Those holes on the wall looked like always looked like Cheez Its. They do look like Cheez Its. All it takes for me to maybe kind of look forward to the spider house is for it to be full of good items. That's all. It just has to not be awful. Collecting 30 tokens for one item? Pfft. Going to one place for 30 items. Get fuck off, bug. what I can do. Oh, I, I mistimed some. So I have to I have to keep pressing the button in time while doing this. So it's not infinite necessarily. It is prone to human error. One of these is Keaton grass, isn't it? No, it's not. I don't think the monkey will now guide me. I'm on my own here. Oh no, he's still here. You gotta shoot the monument in the eyes. Huh? Is that an item drop if you shoot the monument in the eyes? haven't gotten the memo yet. Where do they go? Can I follow them? Will they go all the way to the temple? Or the palace? No, they just vanish. Darn. Bundle of arrows.
I don't got no pictograph box. I can't take no pictures. So that was the Kome item. Oh, what did I get? I also, I've, I've updated some bug things. Bottle Big Po. Bottle... F no, I don't know what the fairy is yet. Bottle Spring Water. You stupid dog! Alright, get some more bugs. Let me scroll back down to the spider house again. Fairy? No, you're a blue rupee. Okay. Gotta take the good with the bad. Alright, crate one, crate two, lower wall. Monument Room Torch. Eyes? Monument has no eyes. that. Can't take it anyway. Monument room on monument. Monument room torch. I know where all the spiders are. I just, I'm, I'm checking for items that aren't spiders. Making sure I get everything in here. I guess this is appropriate music to be here. Are you talking about that uh, that pillar there? You shoot it in the eyes? I don't think there was an entry for that. Jar. What is that? Is that a thing? Blue gem. Invisible item. Did they miss those? 
Or are those random drops? Those, there's not any listings for the eyes. No, they must, they must be listed. Because they are randomized. Are there four of them? Are there two, are there one for each eye? There appears to be. What, it's all green potions. Why are you giving me so many green potions? All the gr why are all the green potions here? There's like 12 entries for Spider House Blue Gem. Maybe that's what those are. Oh, the blue gem is the eyes. I get it. I thought it meant like blue rupees. Wow, that's a lot of items. Just shooting that thing in the eyes. Snowhead compass. Did I get that? I'm worried some of them might have like... Uh... One of them might have popped on top of the pillar. And I didn't actually collect it. I got arrows, let me double check. There's only three there. I think they're I think they're landing up there. That's a green potion. Don't need a green potion. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, I got them all. Oh, I don't have the I don't have the Sonata of Awakening. I can't wake up the Deku. Well, that's inconvenient, but I don't think it's necessary for anything. Piece of heart. What is this? Uh, spider House Pot Room. Ranch. I could have sworn there was more than one of those had something in it. second floor. Oh! <laughs> 
Large quiver. All right, that's nice to have. Green rupee, not as nice. Okay, the, the punch failed to bring that one out. in here. A lot of cash in the gold room. Nothing but pillar near ceiling, hive. soil. Well, that's how, that's how I knew there was a way to get a ladder in here. Alright, tree room. I need to do some, uh, need to do some house cleaning. Exterminating. Love me some instant blast mask. Two in the grass, one in the hive, three in the tree. Whole lot of nothing. All I got in this room is a heart piece.
Whoops. Got a shield before I do that. There's one more soft soil somewhere in here. Hot room wall. We're basically cleared it out. There's five invisible items. Let me check the guide for where those are, because I have no idea. Swamp Sculptula House. Blue gem. Rock soft soil. Oh, that's what I got. I already got that one. Invisible item. Ah, oh, okay. Ow. I may have known about that at some point. It's been a while since I did this. Magic beans! And a map of Stone Tower. Isn't that nice? Alright, well, we've cleaned out the spider house. Got 13 out of... What is it? 30, I believe? We'll have to come back if we get all 30 tokens from around everywhere. Be free, bugs. Actually, no, don't be free. There's other stuff I can check with you. I need one of you back. So if bugs were something else, then I could I could drop a jar of bugs and get, like, three Deku princesses. In theory. Well, that was productive. And we can also do most of the, uh... We can do most of the, the, the... Ocean Spider House. We're still missing the Garo's Mask, which stops us from going to the... the canyon. That's the big area we're still lacking access to. The canyon and anywhere the we need the Zora's Mask for. We're still missing a lot of the songs that we need to access the temples. We can access Snowhead Temple now, that we have Goron Form and the, uh... The Goron's Lullaby. There's so many places to check. But because of the number of things in the spider house, that's where I'm gonna, that's where I'm gonna do next. There's so many potential things that could be in that spider house. Horse? There you are. Also still missing the Song of Healing, so we can't help the Cal or Camaro. What songs do we have? We have the Goron Lullaby, the Oath to Order, Song of Time, and Opponent's Song. Are the we haven't actually found a lot of songs. And because we're not getting the actual reward, it doesn't matter what day we go to the spider house on. I wonder if I can, uh... 
I wonder if Zora eggs are something that are replaced in the bottle algorithm. Ocean Spider House. You have to do a little bit of scrolling. Great Bay Coast Soft Soil. Oh, that's right. There's stuff over on the coast that we need, uh, Man, if I had the if I had the Song of Storms, I think I could grow. I think I could grow beans. So that would help. That'd be nice to have. Entrance left wall, wall entrance le right wall, and web. I don't have the fire arrows. I can't burn away any web. I think that mu that guy might be gettable without burning the web, though. Oh. Spider House Entrance Pot 1, 2, and 3. Two heart pieces. Not bad, I guess. It's be a lot better than rupees, for sure. I think there's a lot of, like, masks that you can shoot that drop rupees, too. Not this one. I think I might be able to get this guy without burning the web, though. Yeah. Look at that. What are you? Oh, just a magic jar. Okay. I gotta stop wearing that all the time. Entrance pot, one, two, and three. These aren't very well organized, these uh, spider house entries. Let's see, mask one through nine. So there's definitely masks that you can shoot for stuff. It's nothing. What about you? No? Bomber's Notebook. Alright. It's not a bad thing to have. One more mask that I can shoot. Are you downstairs? Ha! Okay, just more stray fairies. So that's all the masks. Mask room pot. Guessing these pots. Uh. 
second room behind skull, one and two. Ceiling edge, ceiling plank. Maybe this isn't the mask room. Despite the many masks that are in this room. How many sticks have I got? Not a lot. I might be able to get by with my sticks. Could be tough, though. You know what? I don't use sticks, so I can definitely get by with these. As long as I don't need to shoot up at anything. This guy should be easy to identify. Second room. Webbed hole. Webbed pot. That one? Fall stray fairy. Webbed hole, webbed pot, upper pot, lower pot, pepper pot, pickle pot, purple pot. That was the lower pot I got. is the upper pot. I need someone who's an expert at differentiating pot. Well, I'll bet that's the webbed pot. And this one's the upper pot. Second room, jar, upper pot, lower pot, webbed pot, ceiling edge, and ceiling plank. Aha, I see you, ceiling plank. Johnny 2x4. And a blue rupee. Ninety-nine percent sure that's a blue rupee, but just in case it's ice arrows or something. Okay. Bombs. Let's do the top floor first. Let's do this room. I think this is the library. This place really liked spiders. Unless the curse affected the door as well. Oh, 
Okay, another Chateau Romani. I am already full for this one. Or for this cycle, so. Hello! Well, that's not particularly useful in this version, but... Actually, you know, I can still use that in, uh... In temples. Because the items that stray fairies replace, replace still act like stray fairies. So that's good. That's good to have for all temples. Let's see. Behind picture. Hole behind cabinet. Gonna be two behind the bookcase. Hello. I, I like these guys. They're friendly. Even I don't have to wear a mask for them to be nice. I knew that, but I did it anyway. in this room. I know there's one in here. There must be one in the ceiling. Hole behind picture. Corner bookshelf. Behind bookcase one and two. There you are. Quite a reach for that one. That's the library cleaned out. So far, the only really good find in here has been the Great Fairy's Mask. The maps and things are nice. I believe this is the storage room. Yeah. Storage room behind boat. All right, another stray fairy. Jars. I don't know which jar. There's multiple. And all but one of them are random. And here's more. Bombs. Behind boat, behind crate. Oh, ceiling web. Can I get past that? Is there any way for me to get around this web? Uh, there might not be. That could be bad. Well, it's, the spiders don't reset between runs, so... I don't think. Since Sculptula tokens are now mixed in with, uh... With permanent items. I have an idea. 
I have a stupid idea. Great jar. Ow. Where are you? You're right under me. Well, I don't think I can get the item, but maybe I can at least see it. Maybe I can see that it's something useless. It's bomb chews. Alright, yeah, I don't need those. That's fine. That's a, a solution. I'm cool with that. All right, and then this stupid room. Which I will resort to looking up the order of the masks for, because I can't be bothered. Don't want to hit my skull skeleton friend. It's dangerous shot hook shotting. Deadly hook shasha. Hook shasha. Shasha. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was confused. I was trying to do the stomp, but it was because I, I was shielding, not crouching. They're different buttons. He's heart. Swamp title deed. That just replaced my, uh... Replaced my ocean title deed. Well, that's fine. I don't have access to the where I can use the ocean title deed yet. I can use the swamp one, at least. Ceiling edge, chandeliers. Answering my question. It's just people on a game facts forum confused about what order to hit the masks in. I'm pretty sure it's not randomized. I think it's the same every time. It also is not tell. Why does not. No one has the order saved. Even though the order is the same, I'm pretty sure every time. I guess I'm just gonna have to brute force it again. It's not the same every time. Red, green, red. Red, green, red, blue.
Red, green, red, blue, yellow. Wait, there's still a spider in here? I, m I missed one. Where'd I miss one? Oh. Ah, oh, no, I wanted the, the, the... Oh, they're both in this room? Well, until I have more arrows, I think that's all we can do in this in this ocean spider house. I guess I should have left and done the, the title deed. Because it just replaced it with a different one. And I can't use this one until I have the have the Zora's mask and can go to Zora's Hall. I guess I could brute force my way out there. I'm not supposed to, but. I could do so for convenience's sake. I gotta charge my milk energy. I'm gonna do it. Oh, there's a like-like. Let's go around him. We have to eat some uh, bonefish damage because they don't want you to swim out here as a human. Final Fantasy rem Remakes added an auto battle mode. Okay. Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose of the battle system? That sounds like an admission that maybe the battle system's not so hot. But that's uh, that's a very mobile game system, uh, mobile game thing to do. All right, well, that, that's active whenever I get the Song of Soaring. Oh, oh, no, I need you. I, I want to, I want to bottle you. Get right, get out of here, bugs. Oh, they, it's flying away during the cutscene. Damn it. Oh, those arrows, I needed those. Let me try again. Berries turn into mushrooms. Okay, well now I can do the, the witch's quest at least. What else can I do? Actually, I can now use the mountain, what? No, the guy's in Lulu's room and I can't get into Lulu's room without the Zora mask. Zora Cape Grotto. I don't know where that's at. Zora Cape Jar Game. It says I can do that, even though I don't have Zora form yet? Weird. Zora Cape Owl Pots. I 
just, I want to get this last arrows. There we go. That's what I wanted. Fill up on arrows. What's in the Zora shop? That's some items. It's well, a shop that actually sells arrows, at least. And rupees. Just a bundle of arrows and some money flipping schemes. There's the photo of Lulu thing. I can't do mo I can't do pretty much anything in here until I have Zora form, which is to be expected because you're supposed to have Zora form before you're able to get here. Maybe I can scare him away with my big bouncer gore on bod. Nope. He doesn't care. Oh, I have to swim back, because I don't have the Song of Soaring. Really seems like an oversight that you can just swim around this. remember correctly, the grotto is on the way to the fairy's fountain. So let me see if I remember correctly. Probably under that rock right there. Yep. It's a small chest. This game needs a crafting system. I should be able to craft more arrows, as long as I'm carrying Deku sticks. I feel like my experience is really harmed by the lack of a crafting system in The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. There is apparently a way to cheese the jar game using explosives. I imagine you would have to, like, set a bomb and then use the blast mask on another batch of jars at the same time as the bomb goes off. But that's not accounted for in logic, so I shouldn't have to do that. We just have that one chest left to check in here. After that, I guess our next best lead would be the, uh, the mountain and all the snowballs there. So what was it? Red, green, red, blue, yellow. There we go. I just needed one more try.
No. Big chest. Blue ruby. Well, that was worth it. I had fun. Ocean Spider House Chest. Cow, lab fish. Oh no, that's right. You need a fish for the uh, the lab. There's a speed up option, thankfully. So that I only need to drop one fish in the tank in order to get the heart piece from them. If there wasn't, I'll bet the big Poe couldn't have been swapped with fish because then it would have been impossible to give them enough fish to give you the heart piece. I could have used the I could have used the big po from the grave on that. There's probably some stuff that I could do if I, like, looked around here. I can go give the, the mushrooms to the witch. She'll have an item. Man, I wish I'd taken advantage of that, uh, that title deed. There was something on the farm I could do. I have the powder keg now. That's why I can uh, I, I can do the farm stuff. They got a couple cows there on day one. I don't really want to do the entire farm quest if I can help it, though. There's also the roof of the... I can get the roof of the dog track. Termina is so quiet at night. Good thing so many businesses in Termina have a 24-hour business policy. I guess that's why she's sleeping all the time. That's the letter to cafe. We've already done all we need to do with that. Aside from the entire Cafe and Andrew quest. See, that was the swamp. Kotake mushroom sale. Hello, Microlink. Yes. All of the drop item, a bunch of the drop items in the game have been randomized. Oh. Oh. 
actually, that's, that's, I just remembered. I have the magic sword now. I can check the Keaton grass. That's gonna be a bunch of drops. Yes, the bird is one of the item slots. Keaton grass, apparently, drops different items depending on how many pieces of the grass you get with a sword spin. So if I do all of these, this is nine item drops. I also have Keaton itself that I could do. Okay, milk bottle. Is that a new bottle? It is a new bottle. One. Boons tier. Two, three. Oh, I didn't get all of them. A stray fairy. Let me try that again. I missed some. This was an update that the randomizer devs dropped about a month ago. And it brings the total number of items in the random pool from like 400 to over 1,000. It's also forcing me to learn a lot of things that I didn't know about the game. A lot of little interactables that drop rupees are now important item slots. Oh, I miss. I still missed one. I did, uh, we've streamed a less extreme randomizer of this game. We did that last year. If you're curious, there are highlights on the YouTube channel. Wait a minute. Oh, so that's how they do it. I think I now have both the Moon's Tier and the Title Deed. But just the Swamp one? I'm kind of confused now. Maybe I don't have the final sword spin. Maybe there's another level of sword spin that I can get that will help me get all the all the Keaton grass. Dump dog. Maybe I still have all the all the title deeds. Maybe they didn't replace each other. Yes, I have a moon's tier. What's your offer? That's it. Wow, this land wasn't worth much. This is day two. Day three, I can still- I have the, still have the center of town chest. I got the straw roof chest. I need to do the town Keaton grass. I need to check all the Keaton grass. That's a lot of potential items. Yeah, I do have all the... Okay. I have the swamp title deed. That's great. I thought it overrode it. I was so worried. I don't have Camaro's mask, do I? I do not. One of the things I'm most hoping doesn't have anything important locked behind it is the frog quest. I do not want to have to do the frog quest. One, two. That must mean I have the better one, because it has the two stages of charge, right? Piece of heart. Okay, well that worked. I summoned Keaton. The creepy demon fox. What does the owner of the bomb shop call his mother? 
Romani? What time does Romani the ranch girl wake up? She never gets up. She's super lazy. How many t Oh, God. Why? Why this question? All right, Keaton questions. This is the this is the worst questions. Top top result to Google result when I type in Keaton questions. How many cows does Clocktown have? Who would who would know this? What a dumb question. How many mailboxes? I want to say five. Oh, great, thanks. Yeah, that was worth doing. Stupid fox. And then the music is just... Is it just with us forever now? It's just, it's gonna haunt that area. Here's something I haven't done. I'd have to try from the other side. So that's Keaton quiz. Got the Keaton grass items. If you're talking about the bombers, I, I got the I got that chest. I did that quite a while ago. I've got a uh, I've got a checklist that I've been using because there are so abundantly many things to do in this game. I can now do the Goron treasure chest hey. shop. I wonder when she's open. Is she open at all hours? Nope. 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. All right. We just missed her. Seconds off. Bomb shop. We can still sell some stuff at the curiosity shop. Oh, the swordsman school. I have Goron form now, so I can smack the gong. And there's also all the things on the way up to, uh, up to Snowhead. That is a, that is a floating magic jar, is what the, the town fairy turned into. A lot of things are getting replaced by green rupees and magic jars. But that's not how you get it? How do you get the gong item? I could have sworn that was how it was gonna be. All right, I'm really curious now. I'm gonna look up how you do this uh, this gong droppable thing. Swordsman School gong. Hit the gong when it is half or full hour. Okay, who would who would figure that out?
It's gotta hit it at just the right time. It's like the Mario clock. You have to repeatedly hit it? I can speed up time, but we're so close now. Well, the important thing is that now we know. Let's go to the mountains. We got Goron, we got a Blast Mask. There's gonna be lots of stuff there. Everything's going to be in the uh, Day 2 position at the moment. Gotta be arrows, right? Yeah, it's gotta be arrows. All right, scroll through my list. Mountain Village. Path to Mountain Village Spring Snowball. Bonga Soaring would be great, still missing that. Mountain Village Day 2 Snowballs. The snowballs are different from day to day, which I would have never known if not for this list. Is that it? Just a green rupee? Is that all I'm gonna get from here? Oh, wait. Hey, okay, new mask. Day two, snowball one and two, green rupee and Camaro mask. Mountain smithy, I can't do because I still don't have fire arrows. I'm not gonna bother with no wolves. There's a grotto up here I haven't been to. Let's see, Twin Islands. Or on race, racetrack grotto, racetrack. Uh, there's a lot of pots at the racetrack. Day two snowballs. Twin Islands ramp snowball. I already got the small snowballs. There's so many things to check. Ramp Snowball, I'm guessing is one of these. It's probably the bombs I just got. Ramp Snowball, 10 bombs. We're on Racetrack Grotto. Magic jar. 
We're gonna get a lot of stuff when we get access to the racetrack. We just need fire arrows before we can do Snowhead Temple, though. I can't help you! Let's see, how many snowballs are here? Day two. One, two, three, four. Only four of these have non-random... What are you doing? You are... I'm, I didn't know those were here. It's a mountain turtle. Oh, hey! We got a better wallet. That's great. I've been waiting for one of those. There's a song down there. Oh, we get a song from saving the... the Saving the mountains. Use a couple arrows. I wonder what song that is. Islands Day 2 Snowballs. Green Rupee, Wallet Upgrade, Magic Jar, Magic Jar. Wallet Upgrade's nice. Goron Village. Oh, that's right, we can do the Baby Goron now that we have the Lullaby. That's something. We can do the... Title Deed Trade. I don't think we were here. We didn't get the the large snowballs on this map, so those are all new. What are you selling? A green rupee, regularly priced at 1,000 rupees for just 200 rupees. It's a steal! Everyone in this world is a massive rip-off artist. Alright, take your swamp title deed. What are you gonna give me? I get two items from this. I get a heart piece. Yeah, get out of here. This is mine now. And a blue rupee. Awesome. Or on village ledge. Biggest bomb bag purchase. And six large snowballs. Alright, piece of heart. Find a lot of those. Nope. Not messing with you, Owl. Nope, ignore me. No, I do not have courage and determination. There's just wild... That snowball's rolling uphill. How's it doing that? What crazy land is this? A lot of bloopies. Come on, give me something good. Give me the Zora's mask. That's what I want. That's the best item we can now get. Maybe the baby has the Zora's mask. 
All right. A few little things, nothing huge in those snowballs. Even at night, the baby's gonna be screaming. Yep. Hey! Great, now be quiet! They just removed the need for you to play the lullaby. I already got the jars. So now... I just need to... I need to light some stuff. I need to get these spinning and I need to hit them. What is this music? I don't recognize it. I think there's a music request in the randomizer discord. What does the shop sell again? If I got everything... I have so many rupees. I might as well be getting the... The spider tokens and, and the, the whole lot of nothing that this guy sells. Any spider tokens, any stray fairies being sold. Already got all these. Oh! It's Darmani! I never noticed, it has a little hair on the sides of that little uh, monument face. I thought it was just a Goron face. Alright, give me my meat. I think there's a good RNG setting for this, so I'll get it the first time. Nope. There's good Dompe RNG and there's good Dog RNG. There's not good Pot RNG. This is all for one item. This is just for the... What would normally be the Don Jaros mask. Don Garros. I don't care if it's a frog. It's Dr. Jaro to me. Come to think of it, how was Dr. Jaro's name pronounced in Japanese? Was he still Jaro? Or was he Dr. Garo? Was he a frog in Japanese? watching uh, Vinny's 2019 randomizer run, and now it's messing with me. I don't remember where I got the... where I got the Romani... the Chateau Romani. Man, the fifth one, really? I think it was the Gwei. The bird dropped it. I think he also dropped a red... Po no. I think he... Yeah, he dropped a red potion. 
And if not, there was the red potion in the spider house. Another thing this checklist is very useful for. I can just uh, look up by item where it is. Assuming that I've already found, you know, at least one of them. I should really come here on all three days to the mountains. That's a lot of... There's different snowballs every time, so that's a lot of potential items. We'll do this, and then we'll do the day three snowballs. I would... If... As long as I have fire arrows, I'll be fully prepared for Snowhead. I'm hoping that they're not... I would like to have that before I go there. I'm hoping that they're not in Snowhead. underestimated the uh, Ocarina randomizer, and that ended up taking five streams. So this could... I was optimistic this could still be a while yet. We haven't done any temples. We only have one of the elemental songs. We do have the Oath to Order, which is great. The only things we need for completion now are all the forms, the songs, and whatever we need to clear the temples. I think it's basically just all the arrows. We need to find all three arrow types and the elemental songs. Oh, great. Thanks. This is all your gratitude's worth. Also still don't have the lens of truth. Is there anything on the way to Snowhead that I can get? Path to Snowhead, Large Snowball. Path to Snowhead, Grotto. Where's the Path to Snowhead, Grotto? Let me look that up real quick. We're not in a hurry. We got... I want Day 3 to come so that we can check Day 3 here in the mountains. I thought there was a grotto near this tree. But I, no, okay. I, I think I know where it is. I think there's a tree up ahead that has like several small snowballs around it. I think that's the grotto tree. Infinite magic. Very nice to have. Helps a lot in this game. That was a uh, red rupee. Okay, sword upgrade. That's great. We now have the razor sword. Not gonna make that. You know what? Let's go this way. Let's do this instead. That was a bad idea. Ow! 
You'd think packed snow would not hurt this surly Goron fella. And I can't even go along the side without being spiked. There we go. Bombs. And... Room key. Okay, how'd this get here? That leads to one item. There's our grotto. Ow! Small chest. It's nothing. It's a magic jar. All right. I'm going to take it out on these flowers. Fish turn into fairies, if I remember correctly. We know bugs. What bottle items are we still missing? I don't want to do the Scarecrow Island without the uh, Lens of Truth, if I can help it. I don't actually know if the Lens of Truth actually works now or not, because it's had problems emulating in the past. Grotto. Oh no, this place is scary during the day! We got three small snowballs. Are these they? Green rupee. Blue rupee. And fairy. Alright, let's go back down, check out day three on the mountain. Uh, these snowballs actually make it kind of inconvenient to go back down again. I guess I could have checked the, the big snowballs on that map. There's a bunch of those with stuff in them. We're back down here again, though, so let's check the uh, Goron Village Day 3 snowballs. What this music is. Mind if I put a link to a song in chat? I guess you could. There wouldn't be any reason to. like to share it, you could post it on our Discord. Is that it? Is that the snowball? A green rupee? Oh no, it was nuts. Uh, scroll down on the Twitch page. It should be in the information, the Discord link. That works too. Twin Islands, Day 3 Snowballs. Here's the good ones. There's lots of these. Bottle of milk. Spider. Spider. 
I don't think the spiders and wolves are the prizes. Piece of heart. Ooh. Ooh, Elegy of Emptiness. That's uh, uh, an important progression item. We can't do anything with it now, but... And a magic jar. Notice how quickly the excitement from the Elegy of Emptiness faded. And then I'm just back to complaining about magic jars. God, there's so many of them. The turtle's back. Is this... The, is this... Would these creatures' lives... They just kind of sit around in the snow, out of their element, and get frozen over every day? Until something frees them and they attack that something? Islands, day three snowballs. Goron Village, day three snowballs. How many of these are there? Oh, none of the, these don't change from day to day. Snowhead Temple, I can do most of. Again, missing the fire arrows. Milk Road Keaton Grass, I got. Let me go back up to Snowhead. Let me check the, the snowballs there. We can go check the roof of the racetrack at the farm. We're running out of the little mundane things that we can check. The bunches of rupees on the ground and things like that. Probably look around Great Bay Coast some more. I have the hook shot, so there's places that I can get there that have uh, lots of pots and things. I'd like to get one more good item before I stop. Maybe that's optimistic. I just got the Elegy of Emptiness. It, he, it looks like he just has long white hair now. He looks like Goron Sephiroth. Oh no! I'm fine. We're good. That wasn't so bad. Silent drums. Can't tell what instrument that is. You went down! He wasted no time. Uh. All right. Big snowballs. Bunch of them here. Magic jar, not a good start. Green Rupee. Also not great. I think there's six of these. Great Fairy. Oh. 
Also, also straight? No, that's a Sculptula Spirit. Yeah, I'm not gonna go too much longer. This is my favorite game, so I can go at it for quite a while, but even so. Is that it? That's all of them? Man, that wasn't nothing. Uh... So that was the snowhead... Large snowballs, one through six. Overall favorite. I could go mess around in Snowhead, but everything's just gonna reset. Although, I guess... I don't have... I have one of the settings that, uh... Oh, hello, Tox. One of the settings I have enabled is that, uh... All small key doors are unlocked and small keys are removed from the pool. Just because of the game's structure, it can be a pain to reset keys, because those reset with the three-day cycle. It's been requested they be made permanent, but the devs have not figured out how to do that yet. If there's any plans to do it at all. So, the next best thing I have is to just turn off keys. So in that way, I guess the temple is just another area. That's some discordant music. I guess I can just wander around in here. That's not a problem. Let's do a preview of Snowhead Temple. Any anywhere that I need ice arrows to do... Uh, sorry, fire arrows to do. I won't be able to do. However, once I have fire arrows, I can do most of the temple just unimpeded and just go straight to the end. Like this. This is a nice big looking chest. It's a stray fairy. Unfortunately, this is a fire arrows room, so I really can't do much in here. I wish I could get up to that. Hold on. I have an idea. Come to me. Whatever you are, it's a green rupee. Wonderful. I still have that stupid seahorse taking up inventory space. I bet these are all items, these standing rupees. see something over there. Maybe it's a compass? What are you? Okay. Sculptural spirit. Similar to a fairy. That's close enough. You are just bombs. Okay, well that's not very exciting. Oh. 
a Mario side flip. Link is very flippy in this game. He likes to do flippy shit. He's a little luchador fella. Alright, so the three frozen items were just rupee, magic jar, and bombs. Bunch of snowballs. With a big chest. Ultra token. Watch the big chest be a spider or stray fairy. Oh! Wow! That's a nice convenience item. Get the bunny hood. Alright, three frozen items. Snowball. One, two, three, four, five. Having the fire arrows means that I cannot just skip this room. Sneaky beaky. Is it a red rupee? Yes, it is a red rupee. Snowhead basement. Snowhead elevator room. Icicle room. I got cleared out that. No head snow room bubble. Maybe that's what I just got. It's kind of hard to tell just by a lot of these names. Again. I'll just be able to skip this room once I have fire arrows. For now, I have to go go through the long way. has the best noises. Every character in every video game should just sound like Goron Link. Okay, where are we? We're in the main room. I have to roll across. Probably a lot of other places I could I should have gone before coming up here. Are these pots something? They are. Sculptula and heart piece. Uh, safety bridge pot. I wonder why it thinks I can't get here yet. Always make sure your temples are safe for traversing adventurers. Gotta have the safety net. What's across here? Uh, open door. I think this goes down. Yeah, this is a shortcut road down. With a stray fairy, but I don't think I want to do it without the lens of truth. That'd be risky. There's a chest down here, too. Is it a big chest? I think it's a small chest. Can't see it from here, so it's probably a small chest. I'll come back here. I'm 
just gonna have fire arrows. I'm gonna burn through all this. I'm gonna melt the temple to the ground. Oh, that was the elevator room. That had a bunch of stuff in it, like crates. Hello, friend. What are you, what are, what are you guarding? You're not guarding the boss key. It's just arrows. I could have used arrows to fight him more easily, and I would have gotten my arrows back at the end. I think that would have normally been the room the fire arrows were located in. I-I-R-C. Well, now we can do this room without worrying too much if we fall. On these uh, sneaky beaky invisible platforms right here. I did it. I got the small worthless chest with a blue rupee in it. Oh, it's just sitting there. Oh! Well, what do you, we have canyon access now. That's a good item to end on. Get out of here. No, you're just gonna mind your own. Stray fairy. Green rupee. Sculptula, blue rupee, green rupee. And there's the compass chest. Yeah. That's about what I expected. No, that's not the that's not the compass chest, that's the map chest. Elevator room crates. I'm gonna clean out the rest of the easily accessible stuff in this temple. And then I'm gonna stop. Like... Let's get rid of you. I I'm worried about you being next to me. Can I get you from here? Maybe if I'm real sneaky with the angle. Aha! Come to me! Ooh, that's a song! No, it's not. That's the boss key. Well, I need that. I can't actually fight the boss without the fire arrows. I, I need the fire arrows to fight the boss, so... It's helpful to know where that is when I have the fire arrows. I can just jut straight for him with no delay. What can I do in here? I can go in the yellow door, and I can go on the bottom floor. Everybody, walk the dinosaur. Where'd the music go? Why is there no music? 
I want music for my for my dungeon adventure. Faster block pushing, another nice feature of the randomizer. Quality of life improvement. Another heart piece. Normally I wouldn't be able to do this, but I have the hook shot. I can be a little cheeky, cheeky bastard. Oh, it's a pot. It's the evil pot. Why are the pots evil? Snowhead twin block is a red rupee. School room chest. What was that other chest I got in there? Block room chest. That's what I want. Oh, come on! It randomized to no music. I guess so. I guess this is the most realistic dungeon adventure. It wouldn't have music playing. Uh, hmm. Oh, I can just hookshot up to there. Although, I don't think I can do anything on that ledge because I need to, like, melt the ice and hit the button. I wonder. This won't work, will it? Ah! That did not work. Unfortunately, I cannot melt ice with a flaming stick. It is not good enough. Yeah, I could go up there, but I couldn't do anything, so... I just got one more chest to check, and then I'm done. Got a couple of snowballs over here. These are magic, so these aren't anything. Are there any pots down here? These be something? There are pots, but I don't think they're, uh... I don't think they're in the pool. No, these are just supply pots. I guess it must have. Unless this is just some kind of weird bug, and we're gonna come back next stream and have music here. Like, it's bad enough there's no music at night in this game. Well, I heard music, I heard drums for just a second there. Maybe it's just extremely minimalistic music. You know what? I just had a thought. Oh, I can't... Okay, that'll hurt him. If I, if I kill all three of these guys, a chest will appear. That I would need fire arrows to melt that and walk to. However, I have a hook shot. It's a small chest. Fearless. Here. 
Let's see, I got the fire arrow chest. Snowhead basement, that's where I need to go. Bridge room chest, bridge room ledge bubble, bridge room pillar bubble. Got all those. Boy, if all this grass were in the pool. Unfortunately, it's not. There's a lot of just like grass and pots and things in this temple that are not in the pool. It's probably true of other temples. There's probably a lot of supply items inside temples. No, I'm not beating this today, but we made good progress. We made... We're making steady, good, slow progress in collecting all of the green rupees in Termina. There a door? There is a door down here. This goes to a room that we can't do anything with because there's a frozen flower in it. Okay, I think that's all we can do. Do we have the Garo mask? That's big. That's that's great. We also what song did we get? We got the elegy of emptiness and we got one other one. No, just the elegy. Okay. So next time we'll have access to a big wide open chunk of the uh the Akana area. I could walk all the way back to Castle Town. To Castle Town, yeah, Clock Castle Town, and I could deposit my rupees, and we could get pretty close to that, uh, pretty close to that thousand bank entry. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna play my bells here. We're gonna go back in time, and Link's gonna wave bye bye. Four hours. Four and a half hours, actually. Back to Clock Town with its nice Sora's Domain music. That's it for me today. Uh, probably we'll stream to either tomorrow or Saturday. One of those two days with Jack. Jack's uh, once again going through some things, so we'll see how he's feeling. What he's in the mood to do. Uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow with, uh, one, one of those days with maybe Twilight Princess will be able to continue something this weekend. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.